Hey, tiny people trapped in the confines of my computer. I just want to say, uh, fuck Disney, by the way. And yes, I know I'm not supposed to curse this early in videos. I, uh, don't care. Um, so to start this off, Disney wants a doctor's allergy death. Uh, the, the, like, whole court case just thrown out because, uh, the widower, uh, has a Disney Plus subscription. So if you haven't heard about this, it's all over Twitter, it's all over YouTube now. Um, this was published uh, to the New York Post, August 13th at 3.22 p.m. Um, by writer Emily Crane. So thank you, Emily, for bringing this to people's attentions. Not that they have the, the, the span to actually read any of it. So I'm just going to go through it and then give my thoughts at the end, because I feel like putting the actual post out first is more important than my opinions on it. Disney is trying to get a wrongful death lawsuit filed by a New York University doctor's grieving husband tossed because he signed up for Disney Plus a streaming service years earlier. Court paper said, I don't know how to pronounce that name, Kanak, Kanakburn Tangswan? I apologize if that's not the pronunciation. Uh, their bereaved widower, Jeffrey Piccolo, is suing the theme park juggernaut, claiming that she suffered a fatal allergy reaction shortly after eating a Disney Springs, at eating at a Disney Springs restaurant in Florida last October. Piccolo's attorneys have slammed Disney's latest motion as preposterous and outrageously unreasonable. In the May 31st motion filed in Orange County, I would, Orange County, I believe that's in Florida. Uh, Disney argued that the Disney Plus subscriber's agreement Piccolo signed years earlier on his PlayStation called for any dispute, with the exception of small claims, to be resolved by individual binding arbitration. Huh. The company added that Piccolo agreed to similar language when he then used the My Disney Experience app to buy tickets to visit the Epcot theme park in September last year, a month before the ill-fated trip. Disney has argued that both agreements required Piccolo to consent to the arbitration language before purchasing the court filings claim. Her husband, Jeffrey Piccolo, has accused Disney and staffers of the Irish pub and restaurant of neg 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 negligence. Sorry, I'm bad at English. Because Thompson had repeatedly warned them of her severe nut and dairy allergies. Piccolo's lawyers have since fired back, insisting in August 2nd motion that Disney's agreement is fatally flawed. The notion that terms agreed to by a consumer when creating a Disney Plus free trial account would forever bar that consumer's right to a jury trial and any dispute with any Disney affiliate or subsidiary is so outrageously unreasonable and unfair as to shock the judicial conscience and the court should not enforce such an agreement, the lawyers wrote. They also argue that Piccolo filed the wrongful death suit as the personal representative of the estate and not on behalf of himself. Tungsten 42 died of a severe allergy reaction known as anaphylaxis? I don't know how to pronounce that. My apologies again. Not trying to be disrespectful to the woman who this happened to. Just hours before dining at the Raglan Road Irish pub and restaurant with her husband back on October 5th. The original complaint said, oh, it moved stuff again. I don't like when it does that. Oh no, where was I? The physician who had worked Manhattan's New York's New York University Langan Hospital had repeatedly stressed to wait staff that she had a nut and dairy allergy when she ordered scallops, onion rings, broccoli, and corn fritters, according to the filing. Soon after leaving the restaurant, Tungzin started experiencing difficulty breathing and collapsed. Court papers charge. Even though an EpiPen was immediately administered to her, she died at a local hospital. The lawsuit said Piccolo is seeking more than $50,000 in damages under Florida's Wrongful Death Act in addition to mental pain and suffering, loss of income, and funeral expenses. The Post has reached out to both Disney and Piccolo's attorneys for comments, but apparently has not gotten any since then. That is insane. That That is the facts that we know as of me recording this. Um, 
maybe since I've recorded it, there has been something to come out explaining more. But as of right now, that is the information we have, and that is crazy. That is insane. Disney just being like, well, you know, you have Disney+, Plus, so you cannot sue us. Period. I... So, yeah, your partner died? <laughs> Sorry, tough shit. You have Disney+. Plus. You watched Gravity Falls on Disney+, Plus, and now you can't sue us. Go fuck yourself. We killed your we killed your wife, but you could you could still watch uh you could still watch Civil War if you want. You know, if you're into Captain America, you can watch that. That's cool. What the fuck is that? That about bullshit? Dude. Oh my god. That's insane. Like, not only is it insane for them to have that as their reason for not doing anything, fifty thousand dollars to Disney is such a small amount of money. Why would they not give why would they not just give that money away? Like what? You're a multi billion dollar company that owns a bunch of other billion dollar companies. There's no fucking shot you can't handle a hot to just hand fifty grand off so somebody will be quiet or whatever. Not that I want the person to be quiet, just like how the fuck are you fighting for fifty grand when you're like the biggest company in the fucking world? That's insane. Also, the idea of oh sorry, you watch our shit, therefore you can't sue us is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard and the most capitalist bullshit in the world. That's so fucking crazy. How? I hate I hate Earth. I need a drink. I hate Earth. I hate Earth. Earth sucks. Fuck Earth. But like... That's... Ugh. It's crazy. My fan's been on this whole time. I hope that's not a... Oh, no. I just realized that was on. I hope that didn't ruin the audio in this. But like... Isn't that insane? Isn't that fucking crazy? That that's like a... A fucking term of events? That that... Like... Fuck Disney. Fuck Disney. Fuck its lawyers. Fuck the bullshit going on around it. Um, my heart and soul go out to uh, Piccolo and his family and friends and everybody else who was hurt in this. Uh, it also goes out to anybody in the past, present, or future who have issues with Disney and their stupid law bullshit. Uh, whenever something bad happens and you are, for some reason, told that you can't do anything about it. It's fucking stupid, and it gives power to a giant multi-billion dollar corporation and takes away power from an individual, from a group, whatever the hell it's taken from. And that's genuinely insane. That's fucked up. It's inhumane, almost. Like, it's, it's so fucking disturbing and disgusting and, like, heart-wrenching, guttural fuck you to everyone who's ever, like, given a shit about a human being. That's so fucked. I, god damn, I hate humanity, specifically the motherfuckers who do that sort of shit. Disney, you're fucked. You can go fuck yourself. This is me boycotting Disney. Fuck Disney. All my homies hate Disney. Fuck you. Fuck Disney. You stupid, proprietary, bullshit, fucking bitches. I hate, Oh. God, that's so fucked up. God, I, I'm sorry. I'm getting... Ugh. Alright. Um, I don't even feel comfortable advertising stuff in this because of how serious the fucking stuff is. So, my stuff is in the description if you care about it. I don't feel like pretending to be jovial or anything. Bye, guys. Take care.